So every everyone has their own reason for being here today. Um, the reason the reason I'm here today is to definitely go after what I want and focus on following my dreams. I want to get somewhere in life. I don't want to be a failure. I am my father's daughter, just like one of the girls from yesterday had pointed out, and I do want to make him proud. My first speech didn't end up the way I wanted to because I was so nervous. I didn't know how to talk in front of people. But I definitely want to let you guys know now that he is very important to me, my father. And I really do want to make him happy. <laughs> and I just want to give a brief history today on um, something a little about me because I don't think I've ever really opened up to you guys about pretty much anything. Um, Throughout history, I've been really shy and I never really wanted to open up to anyone. I've put off like this, this, you know, not exactly fake, but I just didn't want to let people in. But going through this class, I really appreciate being here because it's really given me a chance to express myself. And I, I love the environment. Miss Dr. Phil has, um, has brought us has given us today because it says up here, no degrading, ethnic, racial, sexual kind of stuff. Um, it really gave me the comfort to, you know, be myself and know that I'm not gonna get judged for it. And I'm pretty sure that you guys have felt the same way. I mean, Mark, I'm, I'm so mad that he's not here because the reason why I got the courage to even explain my history was because of him. He explained that he's been through drugs, alcohol, problems. I've been th going through the same thing. I mean, pr I'm probably still going through a little bit of it. I have problems not, you know, getting things done when I need to get it done. But I'm, I'm working on it, so. Um, today I'm gonna give a brief history about me and um, kind of explain the quotes on the, on the cupcakes and where I'll be going from here. Um, so when I was uh, younger, my parents got into a divorce. It was a nasty fight. Everyone knew about it. And sh my mom left telling me that I'll never amount to anything. I'll never be able to do anything that without her help. So being here is definitely <laughs> life changing for me because I get to prove her wrong. And I get to have the courage to tell you guys this. And my father, growing up, I was really bad. I was a rebel. I, I didn't exactly do what he wanted me to. But growing up, I realized that I need to become the person that I'm supposed to be. So that's why I'm here. Um, after high school, um, a lot of my friends got pregnant and I told myself I was not going to be one of those girls. I was going to be somebody. So um, in class, lots of ups <laughs> this time, <laughs> in class uh, I went to this other school, I went to high school, I went to classes three classes in high school and then the other half of the day went to a technical college where I had um, tourism classes and 
Mr. Howard was probably the best teacher I've had so far at the time. And he was able to get some of the companies, the tourism companies, to come and check us out and see if they want to hire us for the summer. So him being the great teacher he was, he helped me set up an interview with them. I got the job. And that next summer, I graduated. Graduated from high school, and then that summer I went off to work at RDC Cruises for the next three years. Every summer, possibly um, during the winter as well, I learned a lot, learned how to do customer service, and ended up loving it, loving customer service. I love helping people out. And then I got laid off, and that's when life took a turn for the worse. I got into some bad things, and didn't listen to anyone, met this guy, moved to Miami with him, didn't really know him. <laughs> I ended up like falling in love with him and just been struggling with this relationship with him for like the past couple years. So it's been a really rough patch. Um, I've tried to learn how to do a long distance relationship as well as going back to school and trying to really find myself in those last two years. It was really difficult. But I did learn a lot through that relationship and I learned that if I want to be a good person then I need to focus on myself and maybe not so much of him, but myself. So that's why I went back to school. And it was really hard because I didn't know anything. <laughs> I didn't know how to sign for financial aid, but it was great because this school is awesome for that. They hooked me up, they helped me with everything. They gave me the course that I'm gonna go on and so it happened to be this class was in it. And I wasn't thrilled because I hate talking in front of people, especially <laughs> about my feelings. So I definitely appreciate being here a lot because I know that it's going to be hard, but it's going to be well worth it. Mm -hmm. The quotes on the cupcakes, kind of, I love quotes, and I'm pretty sure you guys do too. It just, it's just quotes from other people, from their struggles, their life. They were able to share it with us. And thank God for the internet. Thank God for <laughs> Steve Jobs. Thank God for all those people, because we wouldn't be so connected. And that's what, how we should be. That's how the world should be. Um, the word I'll be going from here, I would love to study physical therapy because being so broken and being so down, not even like body parts wise, but emotionally wise, it it really helps to have someone help you throughout, you know, a little crutch. And I would love to be their support system as well as help them get back to, you know, rehabilitation. Maybe not through, like, an injury, but self-esteem-wise as well. Because someone could lose a bunch of self-esteem, losing something that is very needable for, like, everyday life. But I try to do the speech text free because I thought that it would come more from a heart and I'm hopefully it did. So like I said, everyone goes through their struggles and we we'll all have a reason for being here and I really hope that it was able to touch you in a way that this class has been meaningful for me.